Okay, this priming business is not as easy as it seems. Hello, welcome to Aquarium Thoughts. I'm Dave. Uh, if you like my content, make sure you do feed that bell and net that subscribe button. Not in that particular order. That way you catch all my latest content. Uh, today I have my Marineland Magnaflow 220. I have two buckets, one with water, one without. And I'm gonna go ahead and maintenance, do maintenance on this, clean it out, uh, and get it going. A nice clean uh, filter running on my uh, Maguna tank. Now in my previous video, uh, there was a comment left by uh, Luis Rodriguez said I was doing it wrong in terms of the priming. So that's one of the primary reasons why I'm doing this video. Just check out and try his method on the priming. See if, seeing if it's any easier than uh, what I did before. Um, now you have to excuse all the sounds around me right now. Someone is uh, sawing across the way. I don't know if it's picking up on this video, but we'll see how it goes in post-production here. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and clean this part out. And then I'm gonna put it all back together and try Luis Rodriguez's method. Um, it, it's, it, sounds, it sounds sound in principle. I'm gonna see how it is though, just, just to see, see what it does. Maybe I was doing it wrong, but we'll see. I'm gonna open this up. Ooh. And I do have one with water, that way, that way I can clean out everything I need to clean out. Now, keep in mind, I'm not dunking this all the way. I'm just trying to get the uh, propeller a little bit cleaned here. Yeah, it's not too bad on the inside. It's just the outside. Uh, so I'm just gonna rinse that off a little bit. Now, I don't know how much of this is actually gonna be sand and how much is gonna be dirt. It's probably gonna be a mix because the Mabunas do kick up a lot of sand. And I actually find this thing works better without the uh, pre-filter on it. So I do not run it with a pre-filter anymore. So let me go ahead and set that off to the side. That one's nice and ready. I'll put it upside down. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of gunk on this. Let me start with this part first. So that's just the top part. I'm gonna rinse that off. And then this, this, this one is just an empty clean bucket. That way after I'm done rinsing it, I'm just gonna put everything in there rather than just setting on the uh, concrete out here. Uh, that way I'm not contaminating much. But then I got my ceramic rings. I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, there's a lot of gunk in this. So yeah, that's why, uh, it's one of the reasons why it does need, there's a, eh, it's not too bad, but I'm just gonna tuck that, get, get all the excess gunk out of there. That way I have a nice clean filter running. And don't worry, this water is dechlorinated. It's actually running through my whole house water filter, so I don't have to worry about killing the beneficial bacteria. So I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can so I have bacteria still living. Let's see. But keep in mind, there's other filtration methods on that tank. I do have a Seachem Title 75 on it, as well as a 35, which is primarily there just to uh, filter out the water a little bit more to get the heavy particulates out to make it as crystal clear as possible. Uh, so that one is done. Now here's the big messy one, which is going to be, oh, I forget which one, what the name of the stuff is, but it's it's more cylinder, uh, not floaty, it's more like the cinder glass, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse that out. Yeah, there's a lot of gunk coming out into the water there. So def definitely has a lot of gunk in there that needs to be removed. Go ahead and filter that out. Get the gunk out as much as I can. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to get the majority of the stuff out so I have a nice clean running filter. And that way when I turn this on, it doesn't spit out too much. That's the one problem I have with uh, this is when I do turn it back on, there's some gunk that does go back in, but that, it originally get, that eventually gets all filtered back out as well. And I'll probably do a water change after this to begin with as well, so. Okay, so that one I think is done enough. And now uh, this is going to be more of those, like those little black balls. 
excuse me, I forgot the name of these, but it's more biomedia where it basically houses the beneficial bacteria. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that rinsed out. Oops, as much as I can. Now these balls do float, so that's one thing I have to be cautious on. I don't want them to be floating away inside this water. Because then I just have to go ahead and collect them out and put them back into the bin. Okay. Yeah, this whole process is pretty simple. It's not too hard. It's a matter of just getting, uh, getting it all taken apart and brought out here. I will go ahead and show you putting it back together in my aquarium. I didn't, I didn't film me taking it out, but it's pretty self-explanatory on that one. Just a matter of just unplugging it. Clean out the gunk in there. Yeah, that's pretty gunk, gunk free now. And then finally I have the sponge, which is probably gonna have a whole bunch, a whole bunch of gunk. And I don't know if you can see me go ahead and walk a little closer. And that is all the fun gunk in that one. So I need to rinse that out which is gonna be the funnest part. This is the gunkiest part. <laughs> see here. Let me just, I'm gonna just take out this sponge. The top one is definitely worse than the other one. Dunk it in here, squeeze it out. And it's not gonna be perfect, but I don't need it to be perfect. I just need some of the gunk out of there. Yeah, yep, actually I did a pretty good job. Nice and all fully black now. Now I just need to get the second piece out. Now some of this is going to be detritus and some of it's going to be actually sand. Uh, I do have a very fine sand in the Mabuna tank. So some of it does get kicked up, kicked into the uh, filtration, whether it be uh, the um, marine land here or the sea chems I have in the tank. So that's going to be a little bit of mixture. Now of course this is this water is nice and filthy, which I'm gonna go use and uh, water my plants out front with it. So nice, nice fertilizer for it to use. Okay. And that's gonna be as clean as that's gonna get. And it's still pretty black now, so now just to get this gunk out. That way this filter is nice and clean now. Now all I have to do is dump out this water, whether it be in the canner still filter here or this bucket. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back to show you me putting it back together. Okay, so I got all the water dumped. I got this thing cleaned out. Uh, yeah, a lot of it was the detritus and stuff, other things pulled out of the water, as well as some, some, a little bit of sand that was kicked up by, from the Mubunas as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together, start with the bottom sponge layer. Now of course, if I'm doing this wrong, make sure you do leave a comment down below and I'll see how that goes. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in there like so. And let's see, that one as well. So now I have the sponges back put together, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in on the bottom. Once again on this, it doesn't really matter which way it goes, uh, as long as everything's lined up properly. So I'm going to go put these balls back in there, just like so, make sure it's lined up, the holes do line up, so that's going, and finally the Biohome filter media, that's what I was thinking of before, the round ones which are these little round ones right here, I don't know if you can see it from where I'm standing, but, okay that's nice and lined up, and finally the ceramic media with some uh, matrix put in there as well. I do have Seachem matrix put in there as well. And finally the top cover piece. And then I'm finally ready for the topper, which is going to house the impeller. Go ahead and put that right in so. Uh, lock it all back in. Okay. Now keep in mind, I did not fill this with water. So I'm gonna try the method that uh, the comment suggested 
was to leave the canister filter empty, then prime it, which creates a siphon from the water in the tank, which eventually goes into the uh, canister filter to fill that up. So let's go ahead and test out this theory. Now I might have to disconnect everything and get actually water in here, but it, it's worth giving this a shot, see if it's easier, easier than the previous uh, priming method that I've used. Um, I know in the other comment as well, it was also suggested to do the uh, water filling as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this theory a, this, this way a test and see how that goes. So let's go ahead and get this back onto my aquarium and go from there. So I got the uh, canister filter in the house. Now I'm about to put it back together into my Mabuna tank and see how the new uh, method of doing the priming, which is just priming it empty and getting the water just in here and seeing how that goes. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, just gonna pull that over there. Put the piping back into the slot. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. 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 Tilt it closed. Okay, it's nice and secure. Okay. Oh, okay. And looks like I don't even need to prime it. Uh, I hear the water flowing in there. So now I'm waiting for is the canister to fill it with water. Huh. Louise Rodriguez might be onto something here. <laughs> and maybe I just wasn't reading the instructions properly, but it does seem like it's going to work the way he says it will work. They hear water floating, floating through the both outlets, whether it be the inlet as well as the outlet. Well, the inflow and the outflow. So, it looks like it's filled with water now. So I'm gonna start this back up and see how it goes. Okay, let me get the plug here. I'm gonna plug it back in and see how this goes with uh, the method that I was told by Luis, Luis uh, Rodriguez. Oh, yeah, that is definitely much easier and it is definitely flowing. Oh yeah. So anyways, that comment, that suggestion actually worked. So if you're ever trying to reprime the Marineland MagnaFlow 220, no no need to actually prime it. All you have to well, if you have you don't have water in the original pipes, then you probably have to do something about that. But when, if you're changing out the water and cleaning it out, no need to prime it, all you have to do is just connect the hoses and leave with an empty canister and just let the water flow and filter that in there. And it's primed. You don't have to hit that red button at all. Uh, thanks, definitely thanks to Luis uh, Rodriguez. Definitely a great suggestion. It definitely works. And as usual, keep researching, keep learning, and have a great, great day. Thank you.